Carol, you, of course, have been doing so much work on, on the people who have been working on the sort of behind the scenes move in the GOP movement um, to restrict voting. Talk about that. But also you told our producers that you're genuinely worried about democracy in America. I think that uh, Warnock has it exactly right, that we the democracy is imperiled. You know, as journalists, what, what are we looking for? We're looking to see where we should skate to, where the puck is going to be. Not, we're not following the puck and chasing it. We want to get to where the puck is on the hockey field. Well, the puck right now, in my view, is all of the elections that are going to be held in 2022, where we're going to have midterms in which I would guess and estimate, based on the rhetoric, a lot of Republican officials at every level of, of the game, from dog catcher to you know, senator, they're going to be saying, wait a minute, my election was rigged. It wasn't properly handled. The votes were stolen. And now I am refusing to accept this result. Imagine that, Yamish, happening in multiple states with multiple people. there, As I said once before, there aren't enough sandbags to sort of stop and stanch that, that flood. And it, it will begin to unravel what is the core of democracy, uh, us believing that uh, volunteers who man these locations, uh, career officials in counties and states who are hired experts in elections, that these individuals are not to be trusted to manage an election and do it fairly. Chris Krebs, who was at DHS responsible during Donald Trump's presidency for overseeing uh, improper interference in the election, made it clear that all of the conspiracy theories that were floating around after the November election were, were, were BS. And he made it clear that they, not only did he just think that, they had drilled down to monitor the election and determined palpably, demonstrably, that all those theories were false. But here we are, Miyamish, per your great question, facing a, a fall when we could have a lot of basically miniature Trump moments a lot of January 6 moments.